got a 2015s. Come on. Multiple of those. I don't even, I don't know. They're not all up here. I got more downstairs. Yes, sir. I rock my kicks. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I do have an ice box. Okay. So those are gonna, I, I wore these a ton today. These are my um, loading in, loading out sneaker con <laughs> shoe today. Um, I got two more up here over there. It's crazy how yeah. there's like the coating over it and it like separates as people like wear it. Like you can see right here. Come. Yeah. Bread toe. Isn't it crazy how those Beautiful. were like low key sitting when they came out? And yes, I wear. So there you go. That's beautiful, right? <laughs> I feel like you make a great intention to make it look like that vintage look. Like wear it just so hard so I can make it look like it's 1985 again. No, it's just being irresponsible. <laughs> He'd be out there like, <laughs> He'd be like I'm hooping every day. <laughs> and, and, and again, what was, I had a gentleman come up today, you know, when I was wearing the Red Octobers, and he's like, you're wearing them. And I'm like, look, you just, to each their own. I know some people would rather Keep them real clean. And yeah. Like that's great if you want. I just at the end of the day, I I want to enjoy them. I want to wear them. Yeah, I want to have fun with them. It's it's a shoe. Yeah. I'll be um, like, I don't. I'm the mid, I'm in the middle of both. Like I'm gonna wear it, but I'm also like, I'm not tiptoeing the whole time. I'm just like right. I feel like I'm in the middle. Yeah. Like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like the 2000 like nine like I don't know. Not my favorite. Retro one high era. It's. I mean, it's a bread. It's cool. It's just I'm not. The quality on these were not great. Did you keep the Celtics colorway? Ah, uh, no, no. He's like, I ain't rocking with the Celtics, man. No. How does I don't mind it. Are you like but, still a Bulls fan? Oh yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I can you tell? <laughs> well, but I, I don't know because I feel like a lot of people have that like it's from the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was a Bulls fan in the '90s, so yeah. I kind of like I'm still kind of a Bulls fan, but not really type thing. Like, I'm at the United Center every other game. Okay. So you're committed. Every other game. I love it. I love my team, even with the Cubs, right? Went through mm -hmm. years of pain Man. with the Cubs, but I was at game seven, uh -huh. 2016. Fire. And it's like, all the pain goes away. Yeah. It's like, it's worth it, it's fine, it's good. Just be patient, Man. enjoy it, enjoy the hard times, it makes the great times that much better. See, it's hard for yeah. me, because I live in Portland, so like, <laughs> I just got the Blazers. <laughs> I know. Our soccer were you, were you a Blazers fan team. growing up? No, Sonics? I was a Bulls fan. You were a Bulls? Yeah. Because you were telling me about the jacket. Yeah, yeah, I was a Bulls fan growing up. Like, yeah. My whole family locked in. And then, like, yeah, getting to the 2000s, it was, like, transitioning into that LeBron era. Like, finding that new identity in basketball that's, like, what am I rocking with? Because, yeah, technically we got a home team, but, like, it just was never, like, my thing for the Blazers. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I went to them to see other people play against the Blazers. Got it. Most of the time. Got it. So, it was, got like, that it. type of scenario. The thing is, is they do a great job of getting good talent. It's just getting over the hump. Yeah. Like this past season, just imagine if they had a uh, uh, just a dominant shooting big. Right. Like what that would have done. Yeah. It's I an mean, evolving like, game now. They're, they're we're gonna go down a rabbit hole. I'm gonna stop. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Give us some of the OGs right here. I know this is some of them. So, I like how you got the tags in there too. It's like 1983 legend, team convention. What is that? Yeah, oh team yeah. Convention. Team convention. So a lot of people go like, oh, do you have anything older than, you know, 85 mm -hmm. or 84? Mm -hmm. um, 83 Team Legends, super slept on. Yeah. It's a beautiful shoe. I actually do wear this one here and there. Are these like eBay finds? Uh, this one was... That's a good question. I don't think this one was eBay. This one might have been Foxtrot. Okay. Okay. I think this one was Foxtrot. Yeah. And I have little signs because like I went to my buddy's sneaker uh, event to mm -hmm. display just so that people knew what the heck they were. Right. That's what's up. 86 team conventions. I think that people are getting more appreciation for these because they did these in every single like team color. Mm -hmm. So there is so many colors done in this. So if mm -hmm. you were in a school, this was like the shoe go to. Right. Crazy. I think it's so. What do you think? What is the value on a shoe like this? I don't think they're anything crazy. A few hundred. People literally can go out and find these crazy vintage collections and spend a couple hundred bucks, a few hundred bucks. Yeah. And put together a nicely curated Look collection. Look how clean these are. I like that though. I really like that a lot. Like, and yeah. it's crazy to see how the 85 one in particular has shot up just more and more and more. 
and it sucks because I remember like a thousand was a lot and it was like all these things and now it's just like these prices are starting to get insane. I know. I mean, even with, I was blown away because. Yeah, even with the 94. Like, and here we'll start a debate. I want to see, it's going on YouTube? Yep. All right, so YouTube. I would love to see a debate if you consider these 94s or 95s. Oh yeah. The, <laughs> the, the traditionalists and historians are gonna argue 95 all day because technically they released in 95, but um, it doesn't matter. If you love them, that's all I care about. And this, I've been shocked at some of the prices on this lately. I yeah. wanna say uh, my good friends over at Sneak City, T and Anastasia, shout out. Um, we were just up there a couple weeks ago. They they just had a DS pair yeah. listed. I, I don't remember, don't quote me, but I want to say it was around, like it was between four or five. Yeah, I just saw a 13 DS in Hawaii for four or 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked. And, and they didn't even have the box and stuff. And I was like, bruh, the box is what makes it even doper. And then here's the, these are DS. Mm. So if you want to hold those, I'm going to make. I'm gonna make some room. Right here. It's, getting, it's getting a little it's getting a little ridiculous. He put 95 on there. 95 bread one. Yeah, just you know. Just to, just to start <laughs> some debates. Um yeah, clean, y'all. So on. DS 95. 95. Bread. Look at that price. Bucks, yeah. man. Eleven and a half. This box. Oh, I love the box. Come the on. Packaging. Come on. So I used to have a 12 in the Chicago and I had the box and all this stuff and I loved it. And I got rid of it because I was in the phase of like getting rid of things that don't fit me. And then I just never got it back. The price kept going up and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I Bro, again, if we all had the foresight to know right. what the heck was going to happen. But you want to just talk about nostalgia, just all the models listed there. Just mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. So again, this was... Um, this is one of my favorites. Mo like I say, most of the stuff I buy to wear, and we'll get to a very special shoe later, because okay. it's on that side of the room. Okay. With that, with that initially I was bought to wear. Okay. Um, even this one, because I'm always very particular about like making sure that everything's nice and soft and flexible. Right. But then, it's, it's like, when are you gonna see another yeah, DS? Exactly. You know? So, just gonna keep. There we go. Got the drop seats. Today. Shout out container store. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love this shoe. Absolutely love this shoe. Um, I'm not the type that feels like I need every single 85 colorway. It would be nice. Um, shout out to my 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 boy Dimitri that has every single one. Um, and he might be able to help me. There's but. only like, what, three people with the whole set, right? Yeah, something like that. It's extremely yeah. small. It's low, low yeah. number, yeah. But just beautiful shoe. I wear this one quite a bit. Um, and a, a lot of times, I mean, it gets good reactions, but sometimes I'm also like, do people realize this is from 85, <laughs> right. you know? Or is this some custom vintage or whatever? You don't see it too often. Um, Chicago Man. size 12. Oh, I need these, bro. 85 Chicago, 11 and a half. Shout out round two. So, when were you getting these? And give us a perspective on price and time and era. Yeah. Because people see these now through the video and they're like, oh, those are worth so much. The movie just came out, the documentary, da da da. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming you got these way before that. I started then, getting them before the last dance. Okay. Not too, too far, but, but okay. like a year or two before. But, which was a great timing. Exactly. Um, my first pair that I ever got, um, we'll get to. I don't want to get to it yet, but this was the second pair mm -hmm. I got, and I got it from round two in Chicago, and beautiful condition. And I wear this one a lot since I bought it. Mm -hmm. um, and 900 bucks. 900 bucks. 900 bucks on that one. And it was that like a good price at the time? Or was that like, that was still considered high, high? Because I went in, I grabbed it, I'm looking at it, I'm considering it. And I was like, I was pretty sure I was gonna buy it. Um, but there was still part of me, I was like, I don't know. Cause I was like, eh, it's a little soft right yeah. there. Or like whatever. And then I noticed there was another guy behind me that was like, can I look at him? I'm like, oh, I'm still looking at him, bro. Ah, the pressure. You know, so. <laughs> um, 
And again, the Foresight, I wish, I always loved the shoe. I just always felt like they were even a little bit out of my price range mm -hmm. when I was like a little bit um, younger. They still weren't terrible, but then I was like, I just got to start getting them because I love Now you them. got people offering yeah. you five times the amount. I know. <laughs> okay, so. so you got Royals and Breads down here too. Yep. Oh, I just love how the laces are like, got that kind of like purple look to it. Just the Asian is, ah, oh, just so clean. This one's in pretty dang good condition. Oh man, too. That's so crazy. I love this one. Um, I mean, I love them all. The, the patina on the laces on this one is pretty sick. Isn't it crazy? What's the difference on the sizing? Cause the height, like the cut on the height. Yeah, it's by factory. It's so wild how it's like that. Huh? And even yeah. like, look, look at the difference here between like this factory, this yep. factory. I will say, I mean, there still was a difference here. This one, I did have a restoration on the collar. Okay. Cause it was so hard. Uh -huh. That's the only one, the, out of all my 85s, the only one that is not original. Like every other one has the original sole, original collar, everything. Gotcha. Um, but a lot of the factories you'll see differences. Gotcha. Man. Okay. So we kind of covered the ones on this side. Let's take it to the little Space Jam era. The backside over here, I'm seeing some good OG colorway, some different stuff like that. Where do you go with the method of madness over here? I see we got containers down here on this side as well. There's really no method to the madness. This is, I have way too many dang shoes. Okay. And I need to start figuring out how to place them somewhere so it's still a work in progress. Um, but I'm, I, eventually I wanna have it where like every single model is together. Okay. And these are just a lot of the ones I've had over the years, college, um, a little bit more recent. And yeah, I'm just, I just put them all here so I can just go quickly grab them. Well, I, see I'm some, them. I see some Air Force Ones and stuff in here too. Yeah. Everybody got there's, some Forces in their collection. There's some old ones too. And Give us a little I've memory had, lane. Yeah. These ones, I'm trying to remember the exact year on these ones. These were 07. I mean, these really stood out to me yeah. just mainly because um, Cubs fan. So, right. I don't know, that's initially, but uh, look at the quality on right. these. Right, yeah, no, I remember this era. Yeah. This is good times. 07. Sock liner and everything, ah, oh, yeah. 07, let's see, this one right here is 03. Okay. Great quality, yeah. again. Again, I'm a sucker for blue, like yeah. I said earlier. I love yeah. blues. Um, this one right here, ostrich. Yeah. Wow. Like, I'm trying to remember which year was this one again? This is another kind of oldie, 06. So I like the, the the older ones. There's just nothing like them. Yeah. The quality, they they were different. Those are nice. I got a pair. Uh, since we're on the topic of Air Force Ones, let me grab the. Jay-Z Blueprint uh -oh. samples. Now we're talking. Yeah. Those are fire. Let me grab the other one. So, oh yeah. So you said you was getting into samples and PEs and different stuff. When did that kind of rise into the occasion where you're like, you know what, maybe I want to start exploring this world of collecting. It's only been, as far as like on the sample P side, it's only been a couple years, few okay. years. Uh, started with the Oklahoma 4. Mm -hmm. I was actually at uh, SneakerCon. I'm trying to remember what year that was. That was 20, 20. Oklahoma four was 2019. So either you was it was shortly that after that, or after like it was COVID yeah. time, or right after like. I'm trying to yeah. remember because it was sneaker con for Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. I was there, and then we went to Sneaker Fest mm -hmm. and no Sneaker Exit okay. in Palm Beach. Okay. And the Oklahoma fours were sitting on a table used, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and I just, I just, I just lit up. And so it's only been over the last couple of years, okay. but it's definitely something that's been, I've been blessed to find some pretty good pairs. Dope. That, yeah. And this used, this one was from Mayer's collection. Dope, dope, yeah. dope. Yeah, this is fire. Materials on these are fire. Crazy. Shout out JC Urban Necessities. And what was dope is when I went to go pick these up, he actually FaceTime Mayer let yeah. him know to, and, you know it was like tell him tell it's him about so, these, good, yeah. huh? so i think that's what's dope about the sneaker community too is like 
as you build these relationships, obviously you get blessed with different sneakers and great deals and different stuff, but you also get like, knowing hey it's going to a good home or if i need to get it back later like you yeah. know where it went and then you can track it back and get it back in your collection mm -hmm. it's kind of dope just like doing that that's why i always tell people like build those relationships it's very important because you never know maybe eight years later you don't want it no more and you can somebody else wants it back exactly and i get hit up a lot too and that's just the nice thing about the community is like a lot of people are starting to realize okay we know aj likes these certain things mm -hmm. So then they'll proactively reach out and a lot of times they're willing to, you know, make a nice deal because exactly. of the relationships. So yep. how long have you been uh, into peas? Um, so I got the Ray Allen 12. Yeah. Like back in like 08. Yeah. And ever since then, like I was into it before, mm -hmm. like from football. So like Warren Sapp and like all those guys, mm -hmm. Charles Woodson, like yeah. seeing them play, Randy Moss, like seeing them playing in this stuff was what had got me into it. And then obviously seeing Ray Allen and all the other guys coming up at the same time. Yeah. So I was into it and then I was able to afford it. Like when I was in high school, like my junior year of high school, mm -hmm. that's when I got serious about it. So that was around like 08. And then from there, it was just like, been doing it forever. Ever that's since. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. It's nice that you were able to, you know, get out there and find what you wanted. Yeah. Too, and then, so. yeah, cause you can get PEs back then for like, if you were spending 500 for a PE, yeah. it was like crazy. Like yeah. back in 08, 09, 2010, now it's like you got to spend 5,000. So things have changed a I lot. Know. Quite a bit. <laughs> Quite a bit. So um, you want to go a little bit more on this side? I see we got some OGs and stuff. You got the nostalgic Concord bread, black cement, fire red, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, is it kind of like I'm from Chicago, I have to get these essentials? Or is it like I truly love these and I want to have these in my collection? No, definitely truly love them. I mean, growing up watching the movie, I, mean, I got I got the dang thing from the movie theater. I know, this is the, the, yeah, but um, this was one of my favorite movies as a kid, and don't forget. Oh yeah, I love how he stuff. slams everything yeah, down so far. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yo, with the gold coin. Or the silver corn or whatever? Ah, uh, this one didn't have it. You know what I'm talking about though? Yeah, I, I used yeah. to have that when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I watched this so many times. This is literally yeah. my favorite movie ever. Favorite movie. Um, blessing again, being born and raised in Chicago. So definitely love the shoes. They're some of my faves. I've had, you know, some growing up. Um, most of these, you know, newer Concords. These are slept on. Definitely. These are super slept on. Air Max 1 by. What are your thoughts on these? I think it's dope. I like the way they put them together. And I'm glad that it's an affordable sneaker. I I actually, know. I don't know. I think the prices might have went up by now. I don't but know. But either way, I think it's a solid shoe. Um, I don't know. I, I understand the story behind it. So mm -hmm. for me, I'm like, it's a great shoe for the collection. Yeah. I don't know. Tinker just puts his extra touch on there. Nike ear. Being able to customize a little bit with the swoosh. Definitely. I love that. Um, I mean, come on. Now, how mad were you about the shape of that shoe? A, a little bit. I was pissed. A little bit. <laughs> I don't get too deep on that. I mean, I do like the toe box and everything to be a little bit more narrow, but I wasn't too mad about it. It's almost like an SB version, like the way it was all puffy around the ankle and everything. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to a reimagined of these. That's all I'm saying. Like, I need them to redo these. Yeah. Please, please, please. That's all I'm saying. I have an, I have like a 90s pair somewhere in here, but again, just got back from sneaker con, just met today. We're fried. Didn't really have everything <laughs> out and about, so it's, it's somewhere in here. Bro. Yeah. It's been a long but, weekend. Uh, but yeah, no, it's definitely, again, I only tend to buy stuff that I know I'm going to wear, that I'm going to enjoy, or mm -hmm. has um, a story to it or something that's like brings nostalgia gotcha. to me. So. Okay, dope. Well, let's crack into some of these PEs over here, bro. We got to move the little poster and everything, but I think uh, I think it's time to show them some of them. Home Alone, Home Alone Michael. Yes. So, again, Florida. I just started. I love the blue. I used to spend a ton of time in Florida. Shout out Kyle Colbert, my buddy, that kind of got me going and even intrigued with Florida. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. What are your thoughts on? Uh, well, I remember watching one of your videos a while back on okay. like your favorite fours. Okay. I'm trying to remember which ones they were. From the college set? Yeah. Um, I think the Gators was definitely one of my top ones for sure. Okay. I like the blue, I like the way they pop. 
Uh, I think that Georgetown is clean. And I think that, that Oklahoma is definitely like that third place kind of category. Yeah. But the UNC Blue also is wild. So I think, I'm trying to remember how I ranked them before. But I think these are definitely in top three. And these are like hovering like third or fourth place. Just based off of like Georgetown and UNC. Because that UNC Blue is hard to beat. It is. It is. That's the one I don't have that I still want. Mm -hmm. And I had a buddy of mine that had a really good deal on it, but still. A lot of times I prefer to try to find them used. Definitely. I don't care if they're DS. You can save thousands of dollars. I just want to wear them. Definitely. So when I went to Sneaker Exit and saw these sitting on that table, I was just ecstatic because they were they were in basically, I mean, I've still worn these a lot, but very clean use condition. Definitely. It makes sense. Like when, especially, and even with general release shoes, like you can buy the used pair. It's okay. You're going to wear it anyway. It's like you could save hundreds or even thousands of dollars by doing it and still have the dope shoe in your collection. Now this one, ah, good times right here. Still amazes me how long this has been around. I think th this is my favorite Oregon PE. 100%. Out of all the Oregon PE. 100%. Still to this day. 100%. There's so much nostalgia for me, but I don't know. I'd love to hear your story behind why you like it. I'm a sucker for Chrome. And when I first saw how the O hit on the heel on this one. And they had the helmets. Oh. Helmets were sick. Um, also too, just like Tinker's involvement, I've always had a lot of respect for Tinker in general and just how he kind of developed a lot of things for the school. And Definitely. I don't know, I just, I absolutely love the metallic green on this. I think the black hits, the green stitching was just gorgeous to me. I, it, you have a reason because you live out there. Oh man, I had so many pairs of these back in the day. I just absolutely just loved how the shoe looked. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful shoe. I think it's dope with white laces, it's dope with black laces. Everybody typically does white laces, but when you throw the black laces in there, it looks clean too. But yeah, this is definitely a really nice shoe. What do you guys think about these three? Let me know down below in the comment section uh, which one you guys like the most. Honestly, they're all pretty fire. Yeah. Great additions to the collection. What do you think about Jordan 4 hype right now? It's the hottest shoe. It's the hottest thing. It's everything kind of just kind of has its time. Mm -hmm. You know, ones went crazy. The fact that there's so many dope colorways that are going below retail right now, to me, is still like, okay, like it is, it is what it is. Yep. It's the game. Yep. So everybody's got to find something new to um, love. And I, I mean, I'm glad that it's one of the original like OG models, but mm -hmm. Again, I, it's not something I really pay attention to. I And you might look in here and go like, okay, there's like a lot of hype stuff. I really don't care. I just, I like what I like. I don't really pay attention to what's hype or new. I even, I'll go out and I'll buy a shoe that's just not, I mean, what do I got here? Give me an example. I, I absolutely love these. Hey, they did nice on those too. That's you what's know? crazy. And I mean, this is a shoe that you'll see sitting in the Southside Chicago outlet. Yep. And I, I just, if it, if it speaks to me, if I like it, I get it. I like that. I like that. So but, Oregon sevens, Oregon threes. Yeah. M and M twos. The M and M twos. I got a good story on these. Oh yeah. I had wanted these for the longest. Thank you. Thank you, container store. <laughs> um, I had wanted these for the longest, and another one of those shoes where I was like, do I want to spend five, six, seven, whatever they were going for at the time? Yeah. I didn't care about having the shirt. And I was um, I was at Urban Necessities mm -hmm. a while back, and I was there for work. And I walked in, I saw these, and I thought it was just going to be an asinine price. Right. And I scanned the QR code. It was the best price I've ever seen on these, and they're eleven and a half. Really. So I buy them, and the next day I wear them, and JC's standing at the front door. He goes, "Oh, you bought the M and M's." He's yeah. like, "Yeah, you know that's you know Joe." And I'm like, "Joe." He's like, yeah, those are Fat Joes. I go, I, I didn't know that. He's like, you didn't know they were Fat Joes? I'm like, no, I just thought they were dope. I wanted them. Right. So then I go back to the hotel. I don't, I don't have it in here. I think it's in the box or something. But it had the little card that you know from Fat Joes collection. And then it turns out that he wore these like NBA All Star game, and there's all these photos on them now. Man, that just made me think about it. We need to make our own little card for our collection. So when we get rid of stuff, people can have that for them as well. You know, we're important too. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it humbled, DJ. But <laughs> no, nah, but like, yeah. I think it's dope though. Like when people get to do that and have that story of like, oh, I got this from So So's collection and stuff. Like it does hit a little bit. Better. I literally had no clue. Right. I so what happens when I went back to the hotel? That card was upside down in the bottom of the box, mm -hmm. so it just looked like the bottom of the box. Right. 
And then when I went back, that's when he called Mayer about mm -hmm. those those uh, blueprint. Okay. And he was like, oh, tell my boy about them. Right. I'm like, oh, they're dope. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think it is as cool how they kind of tie it to that and create that all, another story within the shoes and how people get them and then they go to other people's collections and stuff. So I like it. It was a but nice the, surprise. The two is fire though, for sure. That was definitely. I just a good wore thing. these at Detroit uh, Sneaker Con, and uh, you know, of course, people really appreciated them. Oregon Fives. Oregon Fives. We're getting to the point again. I'm organizing, so some of my stuff's a little hard to get to right now. Success. There we go. Um, I got these for an absolute steal on GOAT a couple years ago. And I want to say, I can't remember the price, but I, I had never seen a pair that low. Do you do like low ball offers or was it just no. like it happened to be low and you're like, I'm buying right now? It was just extremely low. Okay. I had to clean it up a little bit. Okay. So I got my Angelus, I got my suede eraser, I got my brush, and they came out beautiful. Yeah, no, they look great. They look so, good. again, between these two, just kind of being like the OG, yeah, like school PEs. Yep. Once I started getting into PEs, I thought this would be, this was definitely one of the ones I had to add. Makes sense. I like that, yeah. Brings back a lot of memories for me, so. What else you pulling out down there? Uh-oh, Georgetown 3, I like that. We gotta make some room for you. I know, we're just, we're going a little over, <laughs> piling everything right now. Um, Georgetown 3, absolutely love the colorway. Again, Sucker for Blue, gray. Shout out to my boy, Heat for Your Feet. He had them, we've been talking a while, we worked out a trade with one of the, or, another Oregon PE I had. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, 50 pairs. And I think because, I, I, I don't know, I feel like, and I don't care, as far as the value, because I'm not, you know, I don't sell them, I want to wear them, but I feel like they should be going for more of the fact that there's right. only 50 pairs. That's what I was saying, just like the off-white too, right? Yeah. It's like, you feel like, it don't matter about the value, but at the same time, the way stuff is priced, you're like, you would think that this would be worth more than that or whatever, like, and sometimes it's just not like that. I mean, again, just beautiful shoe. Stitching on the tongue. I just love how they did the matte navy on the midsole. That was a very clean touch. Kind of really goes with the upper. And then you got that, that beautiful stitching right there on the tongue. But the Jeter ones? That's nice. Signed. Shout out to um, Laboratory, Oklahoma City. I was down there for my buddy's wedding and these were sitting in a case just like this. Okay. And I knew what they were going for and I just, I don't know, I still asked him, like, what are you asking for? I mean, the price he gave me, I was just like, it was just a no-brainer. Right. So I'm a big baseball fan. I have a whole another room that's memorabilia. Dope, dope. Um, So, I, you know, I've collected, like, all the greats, and I consider Jeter one of the greats. So sure. just the fact that I love the shoe, love the execution on the shoe, and the fact he signed them. We got some more autograph stuff right here, some great stuff over there, some autograph stuff over there. We're running around close to the end of it right here. What is yeah. the autograph ball right there? Is that... Kobe. That's what I thought it was? Yeah. Got a Kobe signature ball right here. Kobe ball. Lakers versus Sixers. Yeah, this was like a special edition they had put out for the 2001 NBA Finals. It's got full letter of authenticity, PSA, DNA. Um, again, I like to collect the greats. There's not too many people I consider great. and. Kobe's definitely the closest thing we've ever seen to Jordan. Since we're on the topic of signatures and the closest to Jordan, um, here's a 19, is there enough light there? Yeah. 1985 pair signed by Michael Jordan, early signature, 86, 87 okay. signature. Again, another one that's full PSA, DNA certified. And that's one of the things you gotta be really careful with signatures, because it's amazing to me how many people still don't know what a real or fake signature is. Right. And like there was even a gentleman at SneakerCon this weekend that had a signed Michael Jordan jersey, and unfortunately I, just, I didn't have the heart to tell him it right. wasn't good. But if it doesn't have PSA, DNA, JSA, Beckett, Upper Deck, don't mess with it, Right. please. Right. So, so is, that, is this like your most prized possession? Like your grail sneaker whatever you call it like is this the one 
I always wanted an 85 signed by Jordan. I just, I didn't think I would find a gentleman close to Chicago that'd be willing to give me a phenomenal price. Right. Like phenomenal price. So it's just an older gentleman that's had him for a while, and luckily we were able to work something out. So I, it's up there. It's it's for me probably. I, it's up there. It's either this or it's this one right here. That pair is clean. Yeah, just because while the signature with Mike on there with being an early '86, '87 signature is really cool. It's a dead stock pair, size 11 and a half, mm -hmm. 85. Um, this was my first pair of okay. 85s. Really? So, okay. And this, again, initially bought them to wear, and then shortly after I found the pair from round two, it was already worn, so I just started wearing those, and I just, I was tempted to wear them at SneakerCon. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Really? What were, I, I wanna, give me your honest opinion. Okay. What would you think if, like, somebody was to wear these knowing that they were, like, undiessed? I think, me, in those situations, yeah. I'm never on DS in that shoe. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna let it just sit and let it do its thing and marinate in its greatness and just go find another pair. Like, it's the same thing. Like, I got the Air Mag and I was so happy, but I'm like, I could find another 13. Yeah. And I could find a, a warm pair or something. And then I'll go find a warm pair and just double up and I'll wear that one. But I'm like, there's certain ones where it's like, no, I'd rather just have. But multiple. if you're never gonna sell it. I'm still letting it sit like it's that. It's tough, right? I'm just still letting it sit. Like, because initially I'm I bought. Worried. Yeah, I'm not well, worried about like, the here's style. the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. I bought it before things got crazy. Right. So I bought it in the mindset of I'm gonna wear it. Right. Because I got it really cheap. But I don't know. So like, okay, because I was collecting mm -hmm. OGs for a while too. Yeah. And I had the thing like, if it was dead stock, oh yeah, I'm never wearing it. Yeah. But if it's worn, oh yeah, I'm rocking it. Like yeah. if it's worn one time, oh I'm rocking it. But yeah, any, cause that's, it's a shoe that I don't have in my collection, which yeah. I don't know why, but I just always been like putting it on the back burner. Oh, it's always going to be there. And then the price just keeps going up. So, I know. but yeah. And I think that's the point I'm trying to make, right? Is it's like, and once the last dance hit, then everybody, in my opinion, was like, okay, DS, not touching it, never going to let it do. Right. But like before last dance, I'm like, I wonder if more people would be like, Hey, I just go wear it because it's not, things aren't crazy. Right. So I don't know. I, I bought it with the mindset to wear it and I just, I still haven't had the heart to wear it. But, but I think it's one of those, like if you did wear it and yeah. it wasn't a last dance, you still would have been like, I'm going to wear this to a very special occasion. You're not just going to be like, Oh, I'm going to rock these. And I'm not going to be today. irresponsible. Yeah. I'm not going to be irresponsible. Like, I think it's still going to no. hold that weight where it's like, I'm going to do something dope in this shoe. Like I'm going to go somewhere dope or a big meaning behind it to why I'm busting these out. Yeah. Whether the last dance came out or not. So yeah. I think for us on, you know, as our sneakerhead standpoint, like I think that's where we would still both fly in that. Yeah. It's just interesting how time like kind of changes perception of, of, oh, of different things. Definitely. Um, do you want see 85s? I absolutely love the patina on those. That was definitely one. As soon as I saw it, I, again, I don't mind if something's beat. Um, thought the laces were absolutely beautiful on those. I, I wear those quite a bit. And then just another pair of bread, 85s with the black laces. The other ones had the faded red laces, but I think I love the black those laces too. Crazy, so bro. that's the one I wear probably the second or third most. And those are clean. Yeah. Yeah. So you still do, you're responsible in those. I'm very responsible in them, <laughs> yeah. Definitely don't do a lot of uh, a lot of concrete on those. Like the newer ones, though, I'm irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you also have customs over here. Yeah. Talk about this. It's we just randomly mixed. Like I got okay. a couple more trophy rooms I just have on ice because I love the shoe. I love the story behind the shoe. Okay. So uh, customs. I was always extremely intrigued with shoe surgeon and just how he was able to create and the quality, like with the leather lining. Mm -hmm. I always thought the quality of his shoes. I actually had booked um, right at the beginning of COVID to go do his class to learn how to build a pair of these. Unfortunately, it got yeah. canceled, so yeah. like, I still haven't had an opportunity to do that. But I do have a couple pairs of his. Um, this was my first pair probably like four years ago. Everybody was rocking with those back With the time. Python. Yeah. And again, I'm not irresponsible too with like certain picks up pickups. If I see something, really, this was an eBay pickup mm -hmm. for this one. Um, really good price. I thought the Python was awesome. Great quality. I have another pair of shoe surgeon. Um, 
Actually, oh, yeah. yeah. I see it. It's, it's, it's tucked in there. Yeah, We're yeah, not going to yeah. worry about that one. But um, I love, I just love his creativity. I have some boys, too, that are close to him. So it was just like one of those things that I was paying attention to him because I had so much respect for him. Right. So I was like, let me get a few pairs. And, okay, dope. Yeah. So you got <laughs> all the reimagines. Yeah. Uh, the ones and the threes. Yeah. And now, so you didn't have the knowledge of 1985 to stack up on all the shoes and all the things yeah, or no. the right no. but now we're in current time yeah. and you're like the threes the ones the chicago like what is your mindset 20 years from now is it going to still be like i got 10 pairs sitting on ice how's that going to go definitely sitting on them i hit every raffle in chicago just about that i i was i entered every raffle thinking okay maybe i'll hit two or three right, right. and then once you start getting the emails that you won so I told wifey, we're just gonna go around and get them all. Like, mm -hmm. what the heck? I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Right. But as you can see, I haven't sold them. I don't know. I just felt, I didn't feel right not picking them up. Okay. Um, so, and I do have a few friends. Like I had a couple buddies at SneakerCon that said, hey, I haven't got a pair yet. Oh, hey, yeah. like, what size are you? Gotcha. And I think I have uh, two of them there. I'm just gonna give them to them at retail. Yeah. So if I do have people that still need a pair, like I'll take care of them. That's dope, that's dope. Yeah. So what's behind those on this side? Let's see. I saw we got some off-white UNC ones just at the top area. As you can see, guys, super prepared today. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't see too many Travis Scott's uh, yeah. collection yet. How do you feel about the whole Travis Scott series and everything? I think it's I think it's sick. I think the... So, here, this... Do you remember how this drop went on Which sneakers? Time? The sneakers drop yeah okay yeah. yeah so this was the one where the building wasn't working and it was at night it was during the day well what time was it for y'all i don't remember because oh. i remember driving down the highway and the sneakers drop ha was happening for the travis scott's i'd have to look at my phone and see i don't even either know way it still has ahead. it yeah either way it was where the building error kept happening kept happening and i a lot of people were giving up mm -hmm. and i kept hitting submit 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 for like 20 minutes and then all of a sudden the wheels started turning and I just like put my hands up and the fours were like that. Too. Got them. So um, I'm a big fan of a lot of the earth tones too within mm -hmm. the Travis Scott. I love Travis Scott's music. I'm a big fan of the music. I've gone to his shows. It's just, I love the difference with the backward swoosh. I love the reds. I don't know. I think they're a dope shoe. So the models, right? You got the yeah. fours, the sixes, the ones, the air force ones, all the different stuff. Yeah. Like, are there other ones that you want to add to the collection or like you got what you like from the collection? Or no, like I'm good. You saw it with these? I'm good. I wouldn't mind the Phantoms just because I love black. And mm -hmm. like if I go out on like a nice night, I'll usually wear like black jeans, black shirt, black hoodie. And mm -hmm. I, I love to, it's not a shoe I'm going to pay resale for. Right. I got yeah. you. Um, it's interesting too, seeing the pricing kind of going down on stuff. And yeah. that's honestly through the whole market. But it's kind of cool to see people to get like Black Phantoms at a lot more affordable price around, you know, if you get a solid deal, 450, 500 bucks. Yeah. I'm sure people in the comment section are like, oh, where can you get that? There's definitely a lot of places where you yeah. can, but yeah. Uh, I think it's cool that there's more obtainable Travis Scott's for different prices, whether it's the trainers or the Air Maxes or whatever, yeah. compared to everything being a thousand dollars. So if you're a fan, you can at least obtain something. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I mean, again, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna pay what, what I don't I don't pay attention to the market honestly I really don't I don't know like what are these going for right now um I was about to say those are what kind of, these are more expensive than the high you want to buy these I don't want them right. I got some <laughs> <laughs> he's like speaking of that <laughs> no I even had I, I don't know like there's certain things I kind of know about mm -hmm. with the market but like certain things I just I just don't know I don't even know what they're doing anymore yeah and it's changing so much it's hard to keep track of everything especially like yeah. you're saying you're buying what you like you get stuff for your collection it makes sense like I get it yeah so we're kind of coming to an end we ran yep. we ran through a bunch of different stuff uh you got any final words for the people let's look at one more oh we didn't even go through this one yet we put everything on the top of this but we didn't even I know <laughs> 2006 fire red five uh, signed in 07 by Jordan at one of his golf tournaments. Um, again, just love it. I love the yellowing of the netting. I just think the, the one of my favorite Fire Red 5s. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So I like these way more than the Silver Tones. Yeah. The blocking on the midsole and everything. Like I'll agree. I think these are better. But I'll agree. So 
I know we spent a lot of time talking about a lot of shoes. Yeah. I, I have other shoes hidden around here too, but I think we hit most of like what I really love mm -hmm. and hopefully you enjoyed right. the conversation. No, for sure. So I loved it. I yeah. love hearing people's stories about their sneakers, how they got them, all the different things, yep. you know, how many pairs they got when they started everything. It's just dope to hear everybody's stories and experience with collecting shoes. Well, it's honored to have you at the crib. Appreciate it, so, bro. You're welcome anytime. Definitely, definitely. So, Next time we come out, we gotta plan something legit. For sure, and pizza. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta yeah, get yeah. some pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all another one. We out. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Okay, you guys. So we forgot a little bit and I'm sure you guys are all wondering about this. So go ahead and tell them, quick so no i did not make this giant led the 85 shop sign so when the 85 shop with ebay came to chicago uh, the wonderful people at ebay invited me to come and after doing the whole activation there was really nowhere for this stuff to go mm -hmm. so they basically said you can have whatever you want so i just showed up the next morning with a u-haul so that was the sign that was sitting in the window of the 85 shop all these display cases where we're displaying different items from Shuseum's collection um, and, and others' collection. Some and signs over there, too. So, and then, like, the sample Jordan 1, like, when you first came into the um, gallery, those were in there. So, and the QR code still works and goes to that particular shoe. Got some so, great yeah. display items. So, that, is it, is that, this from this, too, or? These? Yes, yes. So, these... Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> so, yeah, these were these were also in that, and this was the one. So, in the middle of the 85 shop was the giant display. Mm -hmm. When you first walked in, you had the one, okay. which is where all the 85s were, and then the other side were all the variations of the Dope. Chicago, which okay. is what that sign was from. Dope. So, yes, I didn't just make all this. I'm not a crazy man. <laughs> well... We got it. We're All good right. now. <laughs> All right, here, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. One of those. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. <laughs>